Hello and welcome back to Dukas Copy TV. Now the Swiss National Bank considers that there may be a need for corrective measures within the real estate and the mortgage markets. I'm joined today by Michael Dominice of Dominice & Co to discuss these corrective measures. Michael, thank you very much for joining me today. First of all, can you tell us a little bit about what these risks are that the Swiss National Bank has identified in the mortgage and the real estate markets? The problem that comes from the fact that with the, the global flight to quality uh, in financial markets, uh, a lot of money is pouring into Switzerland and the central bank fighted the Swiss franc appreciation by expanding its balance sheet. At the, the, the consequence of that is that the balance sheet of banks expands as well and banks have large uh, excess liquidities that are wanting to, to lend to people and they want a good collateral. So the mortgage rate, the mortgage market is a good way to, to lend the money with a good collateral and, and relatively safe uh, placement for, for excess liquidity. Now, the problem is that they compete doing so against each other and they reduce the, um, they increase the risk of lending because they reduce what they ask for capital from the borrowers and another consequence is that the price of real estate goes up in Switzerland while returns go down and this might lead to a real estate bubble and ultimately to um, a credit crisis. And what will these corrective measures be that the um, Swiss National Bank are suggesting? So they are suggesting increasing the minimal capital banks should have for lending to, uh, to, to people. They should ask more capital for the borrowers. Uh, and also they want to prevent uh, private people to use the pension plan money to buy real estate. So that's a way to reduce the demand on the real estate market. I see. And would you say that this is just isn't preventing a problem, it's just moving a problem? In fact, yes, it's moving the problem because uh, if you avoid the somehow uh, the real estate bubble, I'm not sure you prevent it anyway. Um, if you do prevent partially that, you displace the problem in the sense that for banks, uh, you remove one way to lend the money and the finish up with large excess liquidities they don't know what to do with without taking extra risk. So in fact, it's, it's still very risky for banks to be in that uh, environment. And what will these corrective measures, what will they mean for domestically focused banks? It's, it's a nightmare for domestic focused bank to, to make a profit today. Because if you want to avoid risk, uh, for example, if you lend money to the government, imagine that the Swiss interest rate curve is negative up to two year maturity and the return of 10 years bonds on uh, from the government uh, is 50 basis points which is extremely poor relative to to the inflation risk you have in the long run so it's trying to fix one problem by by put, just pushing pushing it off and creating a larger problem in the process well i think we're always trying to solve this and that little details in the economy. But the, the big problem, in fact, is that you only displace the problem. And in, I think uh, one, one reason why Swiss authorities follow that policy of trying to correct some distortion in the system, which are created by, in fact, the policy of the Swiss National Bank, which wants to fight against the appreciation of the Swiss franc itself, uh, all these measures in fact, are done by people who believe that the Europeans can fix their problems with the euro. So the, basically, they trust the Europeans yes. fixing their problem ultimately. I think they are wrong, unfortunately. So I think Switzerland doing so increases its exposure to, to Europe, while I think the, the Swiss National Bank should accept the Swiss franc to appreciate more in order to isolate a bit Switzerland to the European crisis, accepting doing so a recession, an immediate recession. And lastly, do you feel that this all will have an effect on Switzerland's AAA credit rating? Well, if Switzerland was accepting to take an immediate cost, immediate loss uh, due to the current uh, situation, I think uh, we could keep the AAA rating. But due to the current policy, we increase the major risk uh, which might uh, 
create a larger cost later. And in this situation, I, I fear that Switzerland could lose its AAA rating due to a major loss done by the Swiss National Bank or the government. Thank you very much for joining me, Mr. Dominis. It's been a pleasure to have you in the studio. Thank you. That's all from us here at Ducas Copy TV, but make sure you click back to the website for more interviews and updates. But for now, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.